What's up, yo? It's your boy Jay with the play back with another video. And today I'm gonna try to break down that new snowfall trailer for season four. I would love to give a shout out to everybody else that's been watching my snowfall content because I see that y'all really do like that. And I appreciate everybody who went ahead and had checked my comment out on that snowfall trailer video too. I really appreciate all the support that y'all can give me. All right, y'all, let's get it. We expand it. It's time we grow past that life. First off, we got Uncle Jerome and Aunt Louie. Like I said on my last trailer breakdown, them two have been through a lot together. Right here, it looks like they doing a stakeout slash waiting on somebody. I think it's time for us to start seeing Jerome catch a couple bodies now. Because obviously Jerome is tough and he is built for these streets, which I think might be next for him. So obviously Franklin is going to grow in much power, which means he's going to meet other competitions. We would love to see what type of problems Franklin going to face now. The border means more competition. Let's roll. As y'all see, Scully is going up against Man Boy. Y'all remember when Man Boy had shut up Scully's neighborhood? I like him off the board. And right here, it looks like Scully going to try to get revenge on Man Boy, which is nice. Because Man Boy did shoot up his whole entire neighborhood, leaving a whole lot of bodies on the ground. What y'all think might be next for Man Boy? Man Boy is cool in his own little way. Even though he's supposed to be like the enemy right now, I do like how he carry his character. He is kind of cool though, not going to lie. They're bad for business. I'm going to kill everyone to get in my way. So right here, they're at like a funeral or something like that because everybody dressed up in suits. So I'm guessing that he's talking about Man Boy and he wants Scully to go ahead and take care of Man Boy. Because y'all remember the last time we all saw Man Boy was when, when him and Leon was arguing and Franklin went ahead and had to go for Leon. I think that was the point when Man Boy said, man, forget all this and he going to go his own little way. There's things I can help you with and things I can't. Stopping a gang war falls in the ladder. So right here, it looks like Franklin tried to go meet up with Reed to go tell Reed, can he help him stop these gang wars? Reed can only help us so much because Reed is kind of on his own right now too, going rogue. But I don't think Reed can stop an entire gang war. Nice. If we go to war, we ain't gonna survive it. Which y'all think might be next for Scully? I'm actually kind of glad how he's going to be in this a lot and not just no random little side character. Hopefully he don't die because he is a real street guy. But y'all let me know what y'all think might be next for Scully though might know where we live but we ain't running it from nobody franklin's mom and dad what y'all think might be next for them as y'all see i guess the game wars has gotten a lot worse plus franklin is a public enemy number one so the police are going to be on franklin and a lot of street guys are going to be on franklin and franklin tries to put his people's own point saying that they might know where we live but you know his dad being off tough he said he ain't running from nobody so what y'all think might be next for the parents i'm actually kind of glad how franklin and his dad actually had got cool hopefully don't nothing happen to them though because they are good parents trying to look out for their son so right here, it looks like Franklin had gotten to like a shootout or something like that. Obviously, something gonna happen to this man, obviously. But hopefully, Franklin could bounce back. Hopefully, Franklin has a whole lot of protection. Give me some reason to believe that we can make it out intact. So right here, it looks like Franklin's mom kind of wants him to leave the drug game, which would kind of be smart coming from a mom's perspective because she do want to look out for her son. Who's protecting Franklin and why? So right here, it looks like Reed cover might be getting blown. It looks like somebody has got put on point that Reed is protecting Franklin. So it looks like Franklin cover might be blown on as far as the police wise because Reed was keeping the police off of Franklin. But right here, it looks like Reed himself might have a little trouble. So hopefully Reed could keep protecting Franklin because Reed is basically like this man's guardian angel. My fate's tied to your conflict in Nicaragua. How much longer you think the good old USA stays involved? So y'all remember now, Reed himself has his own little missions going on. He actually takes trips all across the country just to get the drugs so he can give it to Franklin and Gustavo. So hopefully whatever Franklin got going on doesn't mess up the drug flow. I have sacrificed everything for this mission. Reed has sacrificed his entire life just for this dang old mission. He has went outside of his own job a whole lot of times. It looks like a number right here. Obviously, we're going to eventually understand what that number means. But right now, it looks like a number. Like as if somebody had killed somebody and just left a little message. Drugs. Corruption at the highest levels. Gustavo. What y'all think is next for Gustavo? Gustavo and Reed has gotten a lot close, actually. So it looks like Reed is taking him on a couple of missions, too, I guess. And I am so happy that we have Stephen Williams. This man is a great actor. I would love to see what type of dude he gonna play. You seem to think you have something on me. Y'all remember that time Franklin had to kill that cop? So this is his best friend, and he has suspected that Franklin had killed him. I guess Franklin gets a one-up on him, and now he's in control over him. Now... I want to see Franklin sing 
in prison. And here we got your boy Ivy. I actually do like Ivy's character. And he has been a very good friend towards Franklin. As you see, Franklin is very happy to see this man. This man wants Franklin in jail. And right here, it looks like he's talking to Reed. What y'all think might be next for this man? He looks like he kind of like a shady type dude too. And what in the world? How did Franklin's mom end up in the back of a cop car? She's been the main one trying to get Franklin out of these streets. Now she's in the back of a cop car. What y'all think she not had got into? And of course, Franklin and Leon's arguments are going to get worse, obviously. I wish they can go back to being like how it was in season one when everything was just cool between them two. You can't trust anyone. And the crazy part is right here, Aunt Louie's in the hospital bed, and this is Jerome standing over her. So what y'all think gonna happen to Aunt Louie? Hopefully she don't die, because she is that one crazy aunt that we all kind of need. So it looks like your boy Reed is giving Franklin the heads up, saying not to trust nobody right now. Something probably must have happened in Reed organization. When I first I saw this part, I had to rewind this a couple of times to see who this is. This is actually Mel. I'm actually glad that Mel is now okay. She got over her little addiction. Y'all remember when Mel became a crackhead for like a little while? So what y'all think might be next for her? I actually had a comment saying that I think Melanie gonna change her life around to become a cop and take down Franklin. I 100% agree with that. Shouts out to you. Shelf life in my line of work is pretty limited. So right here, it looks like Franklin pulled out a gun on Leon. Hopefully, Franklin don't end up shooting Leon. It's sad that they do got to fall apart like that, though. I remember having a comment saying, I think Franklin going to kill Leon. And another one saying, I feel like Leon and Franklin about to have a falling out. Shouts out to the both of y'all if y'all watch this video because y'all are both absolutely right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And share this video to everybody else who y'all know watch Snowfall. All right, y'all. Peace.